Money, power, fame, women, it's what we all desire. We wake up every day chasing these few things as if we were hardwired from the day we could start to remember. What you and I both know is that there are very, very few men that will be able to obtain it all in their lifetime. But today we have a man that's only 35 years old that managed to accomplish it all in just a few months. If he spent even as little as 20 minutes on the internet this year, you most likely have seen this guy. He goes by the name Andrew Tate and he drives a $5 million copper Bugatti Chiron. You can't scroll through YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, or even Facebook without this man showing up organically in your feed. It's as if he owns every social media site on the internet. You see, Andrew Tate has successfully discovered an insane algorithm to literally blow up on the internet. From getting his house raided by SWAT or his controversial views on Western society and women, he sure does know how to get the public's attention. Whatever it is he's discovered, it has literally driven him to success. So how exactly did he do it? How did he break the internet? Well, today we will be deep diving inside the life of Andrew Tate and exposing the insane truth behind his empire and the fortunes he has amassed. We'll also be revealing his secrets to blowing up on the internet and becoming a multi-millionaire. You see, there are quite a few business tactics he's used that we can all benefit from as entrepreneurs. And today, we will expose them all. Now, before we begin though, I must bring you back to Tate's childhood, as this is truly where it all started. Tate was born at Walter Reed Army Hospital in Washington, DC. His dad, a military man, soon became his biggest role model. Taking after his father, Tate learned how to defend himself at an early age. And by four, he placed second in the county wrestling championship for kindergartners. By five, he was even a state chess champion in Indiana, taking after his father, who was a master chess player. Notice the type of man Tate was, even as a child. Dedicated, determined, intelligent, some might even say he had an OCD for winning. These are all common traits of many self-made multimillionaires. Tate continued to use his skills at chess to fund his lifestyle while growing up in the States. What most fail to realize though is Tate's life wasn't always successful. Things became difficult financially during his childhood. This led to his parents splitting up and him moving to England with just his mother and siblings. Unable to make money playing chess in England, Tate began getting into trouble. This is when his mother signed him up to a self-defense class, hoping that it would teach him discipline, and it actually did. This is where he met Amir Subasik. And that's when Tate's empire began to blossom. Amir coached Tate in kickboxing, and eventually this allowed Tate to start making some money from a few competitive fights. Nothing crazy, but just enough to survive. And together, they went on to win 87 fights with nine losses and four world championships. Shortly after retiring from competitive kickboxing in 2014, Tate wanted a new challenge, one that he hadn't conquered before. In 2016, he started to gain public notoriety when he competed on the British version reality show Big Brother, but it was short-lived when some controversial news came out about him and he was actually let off. This ironically foreshadowed Tate's online personality today. Quickly running out of money, Tate took to the internet like we all do to find a new income stream. That's when he stumbled across a small webcam service and had an idea. Being a four-time world champion kickboxer, it's of no surprise that he had girlfriends, about five of them to be exact. He actually told them all to come to the UK to live and work with him at the same time. And by the way, all the girls didn't know about each other. He told them all at once around a table that he's starting a webcam business and they will all get rich if they come work for him. Of course, nobody really liked this idea and most of them left, but two actually stayed and that's all he really needed. His webcam business managed to snowball so much so that at one point he had 75 women working for him, bringing in $600,000 a month. By no surprise, he made made his first million when he was just 27, and yet $100 million by the time he was only 31. Yes, during this time he did have a few run-ins with the police, but it wasn't enough to slow him down, and it was surprisingly easy for him to avoid serious allegations. Now, While still in Europe, he continued to expand his empire and build his wealth by investing in a few casinos. Having practically conquered being wealthy and all the women that go along with it, Tate still wanted more. He wanted fame and the power that comes with it. As most of you know, just because you're wealthy doesn't necessarily make you famous. And there are plenty of millionaires and billionaires that no one has heard of. So how exactly did he get this fame and power that he so desired? Well, Tate remembered that early on from his time on the show Big Brother, drama spreads fast on the internet, even if you're really not that famous. He also learned how controversial it was to challenge Western culture and women publicly, especially in today's society where 61% of American women see themselves as feminists. He knew that he could use that sort of explosive drama again, since it was already proven to work, from his previous incident. Except this time, it had to be done a little more meticulously. 
And that's when he had an idea. Given his prior experience with starting his own female webcam company and how effective he was at growing it, he wanted to make one for men. And that's actually when the War Room group was created. You see, the online course War Room is meant to exaggerate and define what a hyper-masculine man is. They even go as far as stating that it is for men who understand something is missing. That it's for the men who see that not many people are taking life seriously, and the few that are have been easily exploiting the unaware. The course teaches men that the more intelligent you are with your alpha complex, the more you win in life. Sounds like godly, right? Well, that's really the point Tate had. Tate learned very quickly that sex sells for women. He learned how easy it was to manipulate men into paying thousands of dollars for imaginary relationships, and now he has a concept for molding those same men. He even started an online course, Hustlers University, where him and his war room group teach people how to make money. You see, all these principles have been around for years. Selling sex and teaching men how to be successful and even picking up girls is nothing new. All you really do is just take an original concept tweak it slightly, and give it your own style. This business practice is how many successful businesses actually started. Burger King, for example, copycatted McDonald's and put their own twist on the fast food burger. Enterprise Rental Car was even created after Hertz, Avis, and National, and in 2015 was double the size of them all. And surprisingly, all they really did was treat their customers with respect and be transparent, something that honestly was unheard of in the rental business back then. With Tate's plan in motion, he now needed a way to gain exposure. And this is when he implemented a technique in business called a sales funnel. Most consist of research, awareness, interest, desire, and even action. You see, with research out of the way and a concept in mind, Tate focused on awareness. Given he was already worth millions and millions of dollars, it wasn't that hard to gain traction, but it's how he spoke that blew him up. You see, he initially got the ball rolling by starting his own YouTube channel and going on up and coming podcasts where he spoke about his controversial topics. This actually caught on like wildfire, allowing him to scale up to more and more popular podcasts while also spreading the drama everywhere. This also worked out exactly how he planned, naturally funneling dozens of people into his online courses and it also built his social media presence as well. Now, of course, all of this attention also draws tons of hate with his topics, but he knew that bad news would spread farther than good. He used this drama to lock in his target audience and fill up his sales funnel with tons of new members joining his online war room course. Now, once his course was big enough, he needed a way to re-engage his war room members, you know, to make sure he kept his promise on how to make money. And he did this through a unique twist on the referral code method. Once you join his course and read all the information, there's really no need to keep paying for a subscription. And Tate knew this, and he had to come up with a solution that would create reoccurring clients. Now, since Tate was already starting to blow up online, he knew the more controversial things he said, the more views he would get. And this is when he developed and really put into motion his referral method. Tate's innovative referral method allows you to earn 50% of the sale from each person you refer. But here's the catch. In order to actually obtain the referral code, you have to be a member yourself. And this costs $50 a month. But in reality, all you need to do is refer two people a month to make your money back. But this also gave clients a reason to continue to have a subscription. You see, if you left the course, you would lose the referral code and lose all new leads. His method gained so much traction that people actually just signed up for his course just to get access to that specific referral link. And his course also taught this as well. It gave a lot of people that idea to push out content about him specifically and use the referral code in their videos because content about him typically tends to go viral. Tate soon figured out a method of growth that would allow him to scale his business tenfold. And now that he had a cycle to his business, all he really had to do was continue to push the bounds of Western culture and the roles of women. Remember, all you need to do is take a concept and tweak it slightly, and then just give it your own style. Selling false hopes to men and teaching people how to make money is by no means new. But challenging women publicly was uncharted territory that Tate discovered. And this is the concept that worked wonders for him. The more controversial his videos got, the more people would sign up to his course, and the more people would share his content to earn commission. It's a pretty genius idea if you ask me. And the proof is in the numbers. This man managed to accrue over 80,000 people in his course in just a few months. And if we do some quick math, 80,000 people paying $50 a month is over $4 million a month. 
Now remember guys, as we know in business, fads do not last. Things that come quickly don't tend to last that long, and there's a really good chance that this Andrew Tate phase will soon die out and a new Andrew Tate will come to the market. This is just like Ty Lopez, if any of you guys remember him, the ad king, as well as many other overnight celebrities. Now within all of Andrew Tate's success, there are still a few lessons that can be learned. The first is in order to start a business and be successful, you need to be dedicated in all aspects of your life, just like Tate was from an early age. It's much easier to stay focused when you already have practice doing so. Learning dedication in the gym or working out or dedicating your time to a sport builds the foundation to starting many businesses. And another key concept to remember is you don't need to create a brand new idea. More than likely, they will usually fail without an already working concept. And there's nothing wrong with that, but entering an already existing niche and making it better seems to work out a lot more for most entrepreneurs. And lastly, learn from your mistakes, as you only need to be successful once. And with all that being said, guys, I hope you found today's video helpful. Make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, turn on post notifications, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in a later video.